Hey, what's up everybody? Well, I sold some collectible silver and I bought Bitcoin. Not only did I buy Bitcoin, I bought a little bit of Bitcoin and I bought a little bit of Ethereum. Now, I mean, when I say a little bit, I mean uh, a little fractional of a fractional of a fractional of a fractional piece of a Bitcoin. I mean, when we talk about fractional gold that's nothing in comparison to the fractional piece of a bitcoin that i bought but why did i buy said bitcoin now i have been the biggest critic or one of the biggest critics of the cryptocurrency but i decided it was time to get on that crypto a little bit onto that crypto bandwagon, be a little bit more diverse. Now, I wish I would have made that decision when Bitcoin was more like 5,000, 6,000, 10,000, or even a couple of weeks ago when it was $34,000 versus a all time high. And I could have waited for a little bit of a pullback, and there probably will be a pullback. You know, we all know that silver is very volatile. Gold is also volatile, but crypto is even more volatile than either one of those two assets. Now, I just made a video a couple of days ago and I said I was mainly going to hold cash. And that is still kind of my plan. I'm not buying silver premiums way too high i'm not buying much gold right now premiums on gold is very very high too even though we are seeing the prices dip we're seeing the prices dip but the premiums are staying the same or the premiums are going higher on both silver and on gold so while i'm trying to save some cash up for gold I've decided to put some of that cash into some cryptocurrencies. I put some cash into Bitcoin, some cash into Ethereum, and I am already up about 6%. I bought the Ethereum yesterday, and I'm already up about 6% on the money that I put in there. And I just bought the Bitcoin today, so I'm really not up or down really anything on Bitcoin. Now, this video is not meant for financial advice. I got to put that in there. I'm not trying to talk anybody into buying any cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies, very volatile. Bitcoin, just a couple of weeks ago, went from 40 some thousand to I think it was 34,000. And now it's up to 51,000. And in another week or two, Bitcoin could very likely come back into the 40,000, maybe even the 30,000 range before it goes back up again. Now, what is the ceiling for Bitcoin? I don't know. I don't know what the ceiling is. I don't know what the floor is. I don't think anybody really does. A lot of people like to speculate Bitcoin is going to 500,000. Bitcoin is going to a million. Ethereum is going to 5,000, Ethereum is going to 10,000. But the honest truth is nobody knows. In fact, the government could get involved very shortly and put regulations on it and we could see those prices tank or the government could get involved and say, we want a piece of the action and they reset the dollar and maybe they'll use Bitcoin. Bitcoin will be the new dollar. Who knows what is gonna happen? But I decided right now was the right time for me to put a little bit while I have a little bit of cash that I'm saving up for gold. I thought it was the right time to put a little bit of that cash instead of just sitting in cash, try to earn a little bit of money on it, make a little bit of money to buy some of this this yellow metal. That's right. Now, I recognize I recognize that this video is going to be met with maybe some people 
saying, hey, you did the right thing. Some people saying, hey, that was a totally stupid thing that you did. And I get a lot of nasty comments in that comment section. And I'm fine with that. This is a silver and a gold channel. And I am saying that I bought the evil, the evil cryptocurrency. But there is a huge bull run right now on cryptocurrencies. And I'm trying to on that bull run. I want to run with the bulls with the cryptocurrencies and I don't think the bull run is yet over. So that's why I got in. Now, I do wish I would have got into Bitcoin just a couple years ago. Now, I got my feet wet a few weeks ago in the cryptocurrency game with that doggy coin. That's right. I bought a little bit of that doggy doggy coin and I lost a little bit of money. But um, but that's how I got my feet wet in the cryptocurrency was with that doggy coin. And then I decided to do a little bit of research. Now, I have been watching some YouTube videos about the cryptocurrencies. And I'm finding that a lot of YouTubers about silver and gold and YouTubers about Bitcoin and Ethereum and doggy coin and all these cryptocurrencies are kind of like minded in the terms of Everybody who supports Bitcoin and everybody who supports Ethereum and anybody who supports Chainlink and everybody who supports Doggycoin and everybody thinks that everything is shooting up to the moon. Everybody thinks, you know, a lot of people say silver to the moon, gold to the moon, the moon shot, the moon shot, moon, moon, moon shot. And um, a lot of people think that you know, Bitcoin's going to the moon. Well, Bitcoin sort of is halfway to the moon, I guess. Ethereum is going to the moon and Chainlink is going to the moon and these other cryptocurrencies are going to the moon. Everything is taking a moonshot and nobody believes that any of these assets could actually drop by like 20%. It's very likely that any of these assets could drop, could fall by 20% and I recognize that before getting into Bitcoin and before getting into Ethereum, I realize that they are very volatile, volatile, silver's volatile, gold's volatile, Bitcoin's volatile. They're all volatile. As fast as they go up, they could come just as fast back down. But that is the risk that I decided to take. Sold a little bit of silver. I sold uh, my three V75 privy marked proof American Silver Eagles and a couple of other slabbed uh, proof American Silver Eagles and some other collector coins, sold them, put that money into Bitcoin and into Ethereum. And so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is crypto, are crypto something that you are thinking of getting your feet wet? If so, what crypto coin, what coin are you thinking of buying? Let me know in the comment section below. What have you bought? How have you done in the crypto space? And um, I will definitely share my journey on my channel. I'm not going to talk a lot about crypto because this is not what this channel is about. But I will give you some progress updates on how my crypto journey is going let me know in the comment section below what you think let it all loose don't leave anything behind let me know how you feel keep it clean and um but definitely let me know your thoughts your opinions in that comment section below hit that like button i appreciate everybody for watching please like comment subscribe and i will talk to everybody on my next video Bitcoin to the moon, Ethereum to the moon, I don't know. Thanks everybody, talk to you on my next video.